Hey everyone, I'm Josh, one of the videographers here at JetPens, and today we are going to be debunking some stationary hacks. There are dozens of videos out there chocked full of stationary hacks and tricks. Some are pretty helpful and maybe even game changing, but then there are, there are some that make some pretty bold and outrageous claims. In this video, we've rounded up seven stationary hacks that we'll be putting to the test. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like it and consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. First up is a hack that may be helpful if you're someone like me who uses up their pencil erasers down to the bone. Apparently, if you have a spare rubber band lying around, you might just be in luck. So the idea is, you can wrap the rubber band around the pencil end, and because it's made of rubber, it should erase like any other eraser, right? Hmm, not really. As you can see here, the rubber band doesn't do a great job picking up the graphite, and you're left with the ghost of what was formerly there. Purchasing a quality eraser like the Sakura Foam Eraser is definitely a good investment. Speaking of erasing, have you ever had your arm twitch while you were highlighting only to have you staring down a giant streak across your page? Oh yeah, the erasing part. Well, do we have a product for you. Erase those pesky highlighter streaks with the brand new product, Lemon, Lemon juice. juice. Okay. Jokes aside, this hack really does say that you can erase highlighter ink with lemon juice. Again, eh, it kind of works, but at the cost of you soaking up your paper and if you're not careful, causing a tear. But hey, at least it'll smell lemony fresh. If you're really looking for erasable highlighters for whatever reason, I'd stick to the Pilot Friction erasable highlighters. Their thermosensitive ink erases with heat caused by friction. And that's the real product placement of this section. Up next was a real see it to believe it kind of hack that took some real outside of the box thinking. In the absolutely likely scenario that you don't have any scissors, but have two equally sized rulers, apparently the former is a substitute for the latter. This guy doesn't know the difference between former and latter. So it's actually the latter that's a substitute for the former. In other words, ruler scissors. When the writers first told me about this hack, I was like, nah. But then I started thinking, maybe with two metal rulers? And oh man, does it work like really well. I'll let our ASMR viewers enjoy this one. So I thought the hack stopped there, but then I found out they actually used plastic rulers. And yeah, as crazy as it sounds, that worked too. Just make sure the two rulers have surfaces that lay flat against each other and that the edges aren't rounded off. Holding the rulers in a way that gets it to cut takes some getting used to. It was kind of like learning how to do chopsticks all over again. A pretty good sound. My mic's up here. <laughs> okay. This next hack involves a few pieces of tape, a red and blue marker, and a phone flashlight. So according to the hack, if you color the pieces of tape and layer them over your phone's flashlight, you get a DIY black light. Does it work though? Well, turns out it kind of does. With highlighters and some fluorescent inks, but not so much with actual glow-in-the-dark ink. So if you want to have some glow-in-the-dark fun with highlighters, well, then there you have it. Let's face it, with a lot of us working from home these days, we'll tend to have a snack or two at our desk. 
but those pesky crumbs, or maybe even just dust, starts to build up on our keyboards. Well, a good way of getting rid of that is by reusing some of our old sticky notes. If you're done with an old reminder, before you toss it out, take a moment to clean your keyboard. This does work better for flatter style keyboards, like ones with chiclet keys or laptops. Just make sure you're not accidentally typing while you're cleaning. Oh, geez. As for mechanical keyboard owners, it might just be best to stick with compressed air. If you're into pens and stationery, inevitably, you're gonna get ink on your fingers. But that's an easy fix. Just use a highlighter to get rid of it. Everybody knows that, right? Just draw over the ink stain with a highlighter and then wipe it off. And voila, now you have a highlighter ink stained finger. But that's okay. Just clean it off with some lemon juice. Lemon, lemon juice. juice. Honestly, you're better off just washing your hands with soap or an ink removing solvent. Thanks, internet. Lastly, one of the most popular hacks out there suggests using a lighter, a lighter, to revive a dry pen. Simply remove the refill from the pen and heat it with the lighter. Whoa, whoa, stop right there. If you've seen our how to revive a dry pen video, you'll know you really only need the heat to revive a dry pen, not an open flame. Instead of a lighter, we suggest using a blow dryer. Or, if you're a super crafty nerd like us, a heat gun, if you have one. This way, you're less likely to damage the pen. Or worse, bring yourself with the la. The lighter. Although you should always practice safety while using a blow dryer or heat gun. You've been warned. The heat melts away any solidified ink near the tip of the refill. This usually does the job to get the pen working again. And that's our list. You can see all the results in this fancy chart that's about to cover my face. Are there any other stationary hacks you think we should test out? Let us know in the comments below. You can find all the products featured in this video at jetpens.com. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, I'm Josh, one of the videographers here at JetPens. And today we, we, <laughs> there are dozens of videos out there chocked full of chocked full, but then others are, uh, they, 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 they make some pretty, they make some pretty bold and outrageous claims. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Down to the bone. Oh, this is still, this is, <laughs> okay. But then I was like, mm, maybe with two metal rulers? Two metal rulers? Okay. We'll have a snack or two at our desk and those pesky crumbs, those pesky, those pesky crumbs. <laughs> Lastly, what? Whoa, <laughs> okay. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, I can't get this. If you've seen a how, if you've seen, you know, gosh, I, oh, okay. If you, if you've seen, damn it. See you next time. Bye-bye.